Come here. Come here, shark. Hello? <sighs> Why is it frozen already?
Okay, I'm unmuted now. Great. Um, why there's no game audio, I do not know. Uh, it wouldn't be a Lydipedia stream if there wasn't a little bit of struggle, right? Can't have everything working, can we? It should be working though. It worked yesterday. <laughs> why would it, why would it suddenly stop working? Come on. What to heck? Why did I have game audio when I streamed yesterday? And now all of a fucking sudden, the game audio is not working. What? What gives? I would like to be able to hear what's happening in the game. Hey Hayate, how have you been? Where have you been? I just need to disable it and then select it again. Maybe that will work. All hail Darth Lydia's the red. Just saying hi, hope you have a good stream. Have fun, stay safe, bye. You too, stay safe. Have a good day at work or whatever you're up to. I see you. Thanks for being here. No comprendo porque no funciona el audio del juego. No tiene sentido. Okay, well, let's just do this. We will have to. Just select it as a different, a different audio input, I suppose. Okay, you're gonna be Mike Ox three instead of Mike Ox two, and then we'll do that. Yeah. No, nope, I should have been able to hear that. Uh, I could try unplugging my capture card and plug it back in again, like I did yesterday. Okay, I guess that's what did it. I don't know if my capture card is starting to act up or something, but like it shouldn't. It got really good reviews on Amazon, so.
Is it another ad break or is this the same one? This feels suspicious because I thought there was an ad break at the start of my stream. And I double checked my ad settings and I did put it to three minutes of ads for every one hour of streaming but only because that's the minimum amount of ad time that I can run per hour while still getting 55% of the ad revenue. And it's like, I don't have a lot of viewers, so I'm not getting much at all for that. But, you know, I hope y'all don't mind helping me out um, by letting me at least get half of that ad revenue because if I make it less than three minutes then it's only 33% of the revenue um, and your girl does not make enough money for me to you know go without ads so sorry not sorry but I hope that uh, you know I hope that you're here because you want to support me so you won't mind you know sitting through some ads for a few minutes Resident Evil Zero. Zero. Yay! <laughs> Yay, sound! Okay, so I'll just wait for this ad break to be over in a few seconds. Because <laughs> I don't want- I don't want anyone who's not subbed to miss any actual gameplay, if I can help it. <clears throat> yeah, I hope everybody's doing good. Hope everyone's week is going well. Happy Resident Evil Wednesday. Happy Hump Day. Hope everybody's got fun stuff to look forward to for the rest of the week and this weekend. Okay, so... Now, on the last episode of Liddy Tortures Herself with Resident Evil Zero, we managed to make an incredible amount of progress, all things considered, because we managed to get both of our characters, temporarily at least, back up to full health. And what an incredible feeling that was. Let's just take a moment and remember, like, the relief the gratitude <laughs> that we felt of like being able to see both of our characters having uh, full health. Now unfortunately, um, as the nature of this game goes, um, you know, Billy's back down to like half health and uh, Becky's still fine for now, but um, we're gonna have to send Becky back up through that nasty hallway, through two nasty hallways, with two nasty slimy guys, um, aka human devil snare, aka humanoid leeches. Um, we're gonna have to send her back through there just because there's a bunch of ammo and goodies that I would like us to get. Um, but the good news is, since we have um, this save and the previous save where I think after getting them both back to full health, we could always go to that previous save and then try to do all of what we just did last time. Well, not all of it, but we could try, try to do the thing with like the vice grip and getting this other... other tablet we could try to do all that again and just be more efficient about it and uh, you know grab have Billy grab that gear and then try to just like keep him from getting attacked that's always an option but I'd like to I'd like to avoid that if possible so anyway what we're gonna do is we're gonna have Becky drop all of her stuff except for the shotgun Because we're gonna go back through the hallways and we're gonna grab 
some bottles, some mollies. I'm gonna grab handgun ammo, shotgun ammo, and maybe even that magnum ammo. Hi, baby. How you doing? How are you? Did you catch Nurse live just now? I forgot to um, I forgot to separate the team so that Billy would hang back. How are we doing? Okay, they're both they're both okay. Um, I'm still not getting notifications of Nurse Live on Instagram. Instagram is like fucking tripping, even more than usual these days it seems. But anyway, when I was um, when I was on there, I was like, oh my god, Nurse Live, and so I was like, let me postpone my own stream <laughs> to stick around and, and watch the rest of her live, because as you know, always a good time. And um, oh, and I got an email yesterday um, from a recruit a recruiter who's been they've been emailing we've been emailing back and forth actually since last June about a uh, language data analyst job here in Ireland and um, th like back in like January or February like they were asking me about it again and then they said that the position had been filled but then um, they emailed me yesterday and asked me if I'm still interested in the position and that they want to move forward in the hiring process. So I'm really, really excited about this and I'm trying not to get my hopes up too much because there's still a lot that remains to be seen because I still don't know if this, like first of all, it would be a temporary contract job if I do get it. And I don't know that the job would, in, would possibly you know, include sponsorship for a work visa, but, um, you know, it's something. It would be in Cork, which is not far from where I'm staying right now, um, and they're trying to, they're trying, they're, they said that it, they need someone to start ASAP, and I'm like, yeah, I'm actually, I'm here, I'm still interested, and, you know, if I have to, I could commute over there, um, until the end of the month when I could actually relocate over there as well. So fingers crossed that, um, like I still haven't heard back from them yet today, so I'm hoping I'll um, hear back from them again sometime tomorrow about, you know, setting up an interview or something. But um, yeah, especially if it could include sponsorship for a work visa, like literally that would be the very thing I need to be able to like put down some more permanent roots here or at least a step towards permanence here um, because if I can have a work visa and you know get this job then hopefully that can lead to other jobs that would be more long term um, and yeah the longer I'm here you know on, on that kind of basis then the better chance I have of you know finding a more permanent situation and if I can manage if I can find a way to like live here um, for five years, then after that point, then I can apply for, I could apply for Irish citizenship if I've been living here for five years. So one thing at a time. Anyway, like I said, I'm trying not to get my hopes up too much because, you know, there's still a lot that's up in the air as far as like whether they could sponsor me, whether they could even give me the job if I don't, um, you know, like because I don't already have work authorization, I'm still not even sure whether they would um, give me this job, but, um, I'm pretty sure I had told them in previous correspondence that I would need work authorization, so I think that they already know that, but if not, you know, when I interview with them, I'm gonna be like, hey, by the way, like, I'm here physically, but I don't have <laughs> work authorization here in Ireland yet, so I would need them to help me out with that, so that's kind of like the big factor um but if they would be willing to sponsor me then that would be literally a dream come true and then you know that would get my foot in the door here and then i could go from there you know so yes please fingers crossed you know wish me all the good luck if you are a praying type of person please pray 
um, because I would definitely appreciate all of the positive energy towards this opportunity because it's literally, not only is it something I have experience in and I'm passionate about and I'm good at, but it's, it would, it's here in Ireland. It's not very far from where I already am. It would just be amazing. So yeah, I'm very, very excited about that, but we shall see, we shall see what happens. Um, but anyway, you stay anyway, here. How are okay. things with you, Riri? Yeah, thank you so much. So yeah, I'm very excited about that. And if not, made it past one of them. So that's it. way plan A doesn't work out then I've got plan B or plan C. I'm just tired, feeling a bit off. So I to see you on. Yeah, thank you. I'm sorry you're feeling off. I hope you'll be feeling better soon. both at half health. Let me turn the audio down a little bit actually. If I really fuck this up, then I can always just reload and write the next time. making her run into the wall and it's that's pissing me off because that's how we've died before is literally because I'm telling her to go in one direction and, and the game is making her go in another. reload the game because I don't want even if I make it back through the hallway Resident Evil Zero such low health when I just we just got them both back up to full health and I don't want Billy's already at half health and I could reload the previous save to try to get him or keep him at full health too, but I at least don't want Becky to have danger, danger health again.
Is it, um, is it getting cold yet where you are, Phoebe? It's really cold here today. I'll go. Okay. swampy Texan ass is not used to it being cold. Um, like, I guess as cold as it gets in Houston, it's about as cold as it gets here. characteristic for Texas, or at least for Houston. It's because you know, um, and those 
Resident Evil uh, Zero. You know, that's not normal for most places in Texas, and Houstonians definitely aren't used to it, and that's why there, it was like a whole humanitarian crisis. Um, winter 2021 was like a whole. No, even, yeah, like February 2021, yeah, like was a really bad freeze. And then even last year, too. But anyway, um, from what I've heard, the winters here in Ireland are relatively mild. And even if it might snow in some places, it's not, it's not that common anymore here. So, you know, I like a little bit of snow here and there. But I'm also fine if it doesn't really get colder than, like, 30-something. I think is like zero, 32 Fahrenheit, zero Celsius, I think is how it is. I think. Hi, Thousand and One. How you doing? Yeah, lots of stairs to climb in, in Resident Evil. Lots of hallways, lots of doors, lots of stairs, lots of backtracking. Lots of torture, basically. Monotony and torture. Trying to do the same thing over and over and over again. And just trying not to die. <laughs> How are you doing? Which game, um, which game are you playing right now? You were too late? No, I was still running up the stairs when you... I know my stream is like laggy and there's a delay, but I've got my um, I've got my stream manager up on my phone and on my computer up on another monitor just so that I can have uh, um, have hopefully if one of them doesn't update in the chat like somebody posts a, something in the chat. If one of them decides not to work, then the other one will show it, you know what I mean? Because that's happened before where the one on my phone won't update, but then I'll look up there and I'll see a, a new chat message. Um, so anyway, that's why I have them both up just in case. One of you them stay here. To okay. Misbehave. Alright, hold on to your butts, y'all. Here we go. We gotta just... We gotta bob and weave. Hope for good RNG as well. Is the game gonna allow me to go in the direction that I'm gonna go in? Okay, good. That was good. That was good. Okay. We made it through unscathed. This is good. Now we just have to hope that we can make it back unscathed. Um, well, I am going to go into that um, door down the far hallway because I do want that shotgun. But I'm not going to go back in the piano room because it's just bottles and magnet ammo in there. And we'll already have six bottles from here. Can you pick the fucking bottle up, please? Can you just pick it up? I don't even have a magnet, so because what's the point of getting the magnet ammo if I don't have a magnet? Hey Rosie, how are you? Um, I'm glad I'm glad you're finding this stream cozy. Resident Evil is not what I would consider a cozy or at least Resident Evil Zero. I don't know. It it doesn't feel very cozy for me, but if you're cozy, then Okay, would you just get in there? If you're cozy, then that's good. That's what matters. You be cozy.
cozy and comfy and just have fun watching me suffer. Mm -hmm. That's the usual that's how it usually is in Dobble streams, right? Is we're we're the ones cozy watching him suffer. <laughs> so it's only fair. appreciate you being here, even if it's not uh, a cozy stream right now anyway. I'll probably end the night with some cattails again. This is why I have to have a cute, cozy game to end the stream with, because you can only deal with so much of this, <laughs> you know? The human brain can only take so much of this, or at least mine. Okay, y'all. It's it's chilly in here. The radiator is on some kind of like cycling timer where it, it it turns on and it'll stay on for a little bit, but then it turns off again. And I need it I need it to turn on again soon because it's chilly in here. I'm wearing my my puffy jacket and my fuzzy socks right now because I'm cold. Actually. Too, because even if even if this isn't a, a very cozy game, there's no reason why we can't be nice and cozy while we watch, right? While you watch and I suffer. <laughs> Maybe I can find a nice one in a thrift store. That would be really great. Because not only are they super warm and cozy and comfy, but they also they look really great too. They just look really like they never go out of style, you know. I'll go check over there. Okay. Great on men and women.
Just have to not get snatched again. Okay, Hold on to your butts, y'all. This is. Ow! Resident Evil Zero. Here's what we're gonna do. Because I don't want to just keep doing this. And put y'all through watching me do the same thing over and over and over and over again. So we're gonna reload the save where both of them have full health. And we're gonna just try to... Be as efficient as possible sending Billy back with the vice grip to get the tablet, but while he's in there, he's also gonna get the shotgun shells. Um, and we're, we're just we're gonna try to try to do it all in one go. You know what I mean? But first, I need to find my lip balm because my lips are dry. Where did I put it? A weird thing, a weird new thing lately. You know how as you get older, you discover newer and more annoying ways that your body can deteriorate. <laughs> um, I discover that I'm slightly hypermobile and that um, my legs, like when I lock my knees, that they will like slightly hyperextend and um, and even if I like walk if I'm walking and I try to like walk too fast and make my stride too uh, long then like like when I come back and like relax and start to feel the aftermath of all the walking around that I've done like, it'll feel like the back of my knee, like the muscles and tendons at the back of my knee will feel like inflamed and like sore. And I think it's because like, I'm hyperextending my knee somehow when I'm walking. 
which is totally new because my I've never my knees never felt like this before. Like I've had tightness where my fibula connects to my kneecap. Like that's something that's been going on for a few years. But this thing like with the back of the knee feeling inflamed, this is totally new. And it's not fun, let me tell you. <laughs> I'm sorry, Riri. Yeah, I'm sorry that you. I'm glad you, you em empathize, but I'm also sorry that you are also experiencing this because like, I don't mind getting older because I'm really enjoying getting wiser <laughs> and just like feeling more comfortable with who I am and all of that. I'm enjoying that part of getting older, but yeah, the uh. <laughs> your body just finding new ways of breaking down and deteriorating that's that's very much not fun part of getting older and um yeah i, I for at the risk of complaining about needing to see a chiropractor for the third and fourth month in a row without actually having seen one yeah but anyway, that's why getting this job would be really, really great because then I could be able to uh, afford to, <laughs> you know, get the massages and the chiropractic treatment and take care of my body the way I really need it. So, yeah. But anyway, in the meantime, I'm just, you know, trying to do what I can. Uh, alleviate it, just, like stretching and uh, cold exposure to help reduce the inflammation and stuff. They both had... I thought I had saved... zombies are. No, 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 no. We'll have him run through to the hallway into the room with all the health stuff, right? He'll heal himself with the first aid spray. He'll grab the herbs that we will later give to Becky. Um, and then he'll also grab... Hold on. Herbs will take up two slots. The vice grip is going to get replaced with the tablet, so that's fine. Um, and then he'll have room for the shotgun shells, bottles, and handgun ammo. Okay, that's what we're going to do. Now, I didn't- I forgot, I guess- Yeah, I guess I forgot that this save- I'll go alone. Before okay. Before I got them both back to full health. But we managed to get both of them through there the first time to get them both back to full health without either of them dying, and they were both on... What I'm trying to say is, if we did it before, we can do it again, and with only Billy going through this time, we'll have an even better chance of it, I think. Okay. And if we, if we can't do it, then at least we know we've got that, that you know, 
most recently. <laughs> different saves that we can work with, but I'm just trying to like be more efficient in getting things done in like one run, if that makes sense. just send Becky in there to meet him and they'll rejoin him there since both of them have to be in there to get the battery. I don't know if any of this is making sense but let's just see what happens. Um, As soon as I move the controller, it's got him running into the fucking wall. Like,
Oh my god, the suspense, y'all. Okay, now we just have to get <laughs> Becky in here. And she's at dangerously low health, so that'll be interesting. Um... We can actually shoot the snake if we need to get him out of our way. Okay, so forget that plan. That would be that would be scary as fuck if like a face just like appeared next to my face out of the darkness. That would be fucked up. But I don't I don't know. This place doesn't feel haunted that I can tell. If there are ghosts here, I don't think they are. Considering just going for the shotgun shells, and that's it. I don't really care about the bottles. Or the hit, like, we're both. You stay here. Yeah. is because the stupid fucking controls. Like, who, who created this game and was like, you know what we should do? Make sure that half the time the controls actually don't work to send you in the direction that you're trying to go in. That's what we should do.
if there was like a, uh, I think it was a Tomb Raider game then, maybe it was Tomb Raider Legend that had like an option for like old fashioned tanky controls versus Sunday. Do uh, another music stream because it's been a while since I've done a music stream. I'll go check over there. Yeah. Okay, now we just gotta rush, rush, rush. Oh. Okay, make it through one more. Day. You know what? I really don't like the idea of leaving so much ammo, but it's just not fucking worth it. Um, I'm just gonna hope that we will find more shotgun shells at some point in the future of this game. Um, because fuck that. <laughs> So we're just gonna we're just gonna move along with the plot. As, as far as I know to, to go. My back hurts. Ow. Okay. to get 
the third tablet. We're gonna put. I also have a feeling something bad is gonna happen. Because that's what Resident Evil likes to do. It's like as soon as you accomplish something, they like to punish you by releasing some kind of nastiness. Uh, yeah. You don't fucking say. Just put the battery in. I'll check it out. Roger. It's up here. Okay, so I'm trying to push it up against this pillar. That's where it is. So actually, we're going to want it... We're going to want to push it... your controller connected to your OBS so that um, it'll show live on your stream what buttons you're pressing and all of that because then y'all could really see like just how fucked up this is because this should not be this fucked. <laughs> I'm 
I'm just trying to get him to like stand and push in one direction behind this fucking box and he wants to go in literally every direction but where I'm trying to get him to go. the walks in really quick.
Let's regroup. Roger. I feel so silly. I only just now noticed that a thousand and one banned the in game action of climbing stairs. Uh, no can do. Sorry. Okay, maybe there's gonna be lots of nasty. I'll check it out. Okay. Oh. No? This way. Roger. No, because I already killed them. Never mind. Yeah, because I already did that. Them. I already went through here, I already got the ammo in here, I just didn't have the tablets yet. So, yay, thanks, Pass Me. Would we like to go down the ladder? Hello? 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 Thank you. Uh, that was a good one. I don't know if you're still here, but I'm really sorry. Um, I didn't see that, I only just saw on my activity feed that that was a, uh, a points redemption that you had done. Thing, and you're gonna tell me I don't need to use these items? Fuck off. Like, I, hate that, I fucking hate that it makes you be on the exact right pixel. Thank you. Unity? No. God, no. Stay over there or it won't let us do it. Commit or discipline. Why did I think it was commitment? Okay, now what kind of hell is gonna be in <laughs> Low Walkthrough said to, uh, 
Yeah. Uh, we've unlocked this door right in front of us, but um, before before we go in there, it's recommending that God, just go in the fucking direction I'm telling you. Uh, it's recommending that we go back into the training facility and grab um, any items that we still want. <laughs> Actually, that's good. Yeah, that's that's kind of where I need to go. Because you see those blinking lights? Those are things, those are items that we dropped. Um, yeah, but um, we do, we're, we're going to get the hook shot. I would, I would like to get that shotgun ammo, but... Not if it means having to go through those fucking leeches again. Let's just let's just grab the hook shot and then move on. Yeah, I know there were two green er herbs there, but um... okay, there might be a zombie hallway. I forget if we got rid of it or not already. Trying to get to my inventory, Jesus. This is not good. Ow! Die already. Die! Why? Why do you not die? Die! Die! Oh my God. Like that's all of our ammo. Ah! Oh, ah! ah! Stupid ass eight. Why already? How many? How many did it take? Jesus. Oh my god. Now that we're both barely alive. somewhere now that we are both barely alive and out of ammo. it. 
might be able to do all of that again without taking as much damage, which is what I would prefer. Um, now that we know that there's going to be apes waiting for us, get it together. Let's move on into the laboratory. Let's see what horrors await us in here. I'll go check over there. Okay. up right now. Don't know what its problem is. Okay. Pretty.
also played Resident Evil 1. I mean, I don't know if the original is the same as the remaster, because I've only played the remaster. But the save room, um, the save rooms, the save room music, I should say, in Resident Evil 1, like, it's kind of, it's the same vibe as this, but it's, it's way better. It's like, <laughs> I just not.
anything without any damage. We'll just have to see. Resident Evil Zero. Um, I'm not sure what to do about the low controller battery. Actually, that might have to. That might determine the end of stream tonight because, um. Yeah, I don't know a way to keep playing. I, I need the switch to be in the dock, and I don't have a way of of charging the controllers without putting them back on the on the thing. If that makes sense. So, um, but I, I didn't want to stream for too long tonight anyway because um, I'm gonna try to go to bed early tonight just because I need I need to catch up on some more sleep. So um let me just see if we can kill this bat boss and for the controls, and I don't think we're going to be able to do that, but there will definitely be more, Z, more cozy cat kind of cute. Oh, thank you, Riri. Thanks for the encouragement. Yeah, I mean, uh, worst comes to worst, I'll just, I'll call it a night and, um, and then, like, if we've determined that, like, he can't- Resident Evil. Boss, Zero. Such low health, then we'll just reload the the previous save and we'll just try to be better getting through the apes and all of that. That way they will both hopefully have better health once we get back to this point. But let's let's keep trying for now while we can. You are entering an insane world. Tell me something I don't know. Like, what else is new?
fucking bad. Resident Evil <laughs> Zero. Like, uh, I'm not even mad. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan. Thank you, Riri. I ain't even mad. <laughs> That's just impressive. It's comical. And I'm at the point where, like, I'm just so, so ready to be done with this game that, like... <laughs> Any, any way, any, any, like, little thing about it that I can find, you know, uh, enjoyment from. Or what's the word? <sighs> any little thing that I can glean some glee from. I'm... <laughs> Put your arms around me, baby. Put your arms around me, baby. I just want to fly. Put your arms around me, baby. Put your arms around me, baby. I just want to fly. Anyone? I think I've reached a state of delirium. <laughs> Ladies, men, and non-binary friends. <laughs> yeah, all right, so both my controllers are low on battery. So, um, yeah, we're just going to call it a night here. Um, hello. SE Live is doing that fun thing where it won't let me go back to the main fucking view. And it's acting brand new. Can I just, can I please, may I, mother may I? Hello? Just 
let me go back to... No, stop it. Like, no matter what I do, it keeps going back to the full screen preview, and I'm like, I don't need that anymore. Can you just let me go back to the actual thing where I can see what the fuck I'm doing? And it's giving me the uh, swirly colors icon because it's doing something apparently. Even though I just need it to do the simple thing of closing this window. <laughs> Hello? Mackenzie. Like, this is the least difficult thing that I'm asking you to do right now. Like, streaming, you would think, would be difficult enough. What I'm asking you to do now is not difficult. I'm just asking you to fucking... Let me go back to a simpler view. I'm trying to make it easier on you. Exit screen. <clears throat> Thank you. Okay. Yeah, I know. You can go to sleep now. Hello? Transition. Again, I'm not asking you to do anything difficult. The difficult part's over. <sighs> oh, well. I know I shouldn't get caught up over viewer counts, but, you know... I try to like wrap up the stream quickly so that I can have more viewers to raid somebody with as opposed to fewer and I just get really frustrated that just the simple things of trying to trying it's it's like I'm trying to end the stream and that you would think that would be less difficult for SE live and my laptop to handle because I'm not even trying to like, there's no game anymore for it to worry about, so what the fuck is it... What the fuck is making it run like a fucking potato like this? Like, it's struggling so much to do the simplest things. Come on. Get it together. Anyway, um... While I'm waiting for Mackenzie to decide not to be a piece of shit, um, thank you so much to everybody who um, came and hang out with me tonight during this stream. Thank you, Riri. Thank you, Hayate, for jumping in and saying hi at the beginning of the stream. Thank you, Rosie. Thank you, Thousand and One Games. Uh, and thank you, thank you for thank you, Thousand and One for uh, redeeming redeeming those channel points. Trying to ban the action of climbing the stairs. I'm sorry that I didn't realize what you were trying to do at the moment. Um, and I'm sorry that, as per fucking usual, this has been uh, quite a struggle stream, but. I feel like half of it's just Twitch, because it seems like Twitch is being extra twitchy today in general anyway. Um, and then, you know, the rest of it's just like the usual fucking struggle stream, because... Come on, focus. Focus. <laughs> now my camera doesn't even want to focus. Come on, it's not that difficult. I'm not asking you to do anything that you haven't done before. Get it together. Like, we're at the end of stream here. Things should be easy. Focus, focus, focus. Hello? Thank you, for fuck's sake. 
Okay, um, let me see who's around to be raided. Okay, uh, the wonky gamers, Dave and Laura, they're still, or at least it looks like they're still up. Let me just refresh to make sure. Yeah, they're still up. They're, um, they're in the UK, and they've raided me before. They're nice people. They're playing PUBG right now. Um, so we're going to go and raid them, uh, assuming that my technology will allow me to do that. We're going to try to raid them, okay? So everybody, or everybody as in the two of you who are still here, um, let's go say hi to Dave and Laura at the Wonky Gamers, and I will see y'all most likely Sunday, but who knows, might pop up with a surprise stream um, another day this week if I'm feeling like it, if I've got the time. But yeah, I hope everybody has a really great week. Um, stay cozy, stay hydrated, uh, stay kind to yourself and others. And yeah, once again, appreciate everybody being here. And um, hopefully next time um, we won't die. Hopefully next time we can keep progressing through Resident Evil Zero without dying. Can you focus, please? Do you mind? Hello? Thank you. Like, whatever ghosts are back there, like, y'all need to fucking just, like, slow your roll, okay? This is my stream, alright? If you want to have the spotlight, you know, you can ask nicely, okay? Stop trying to steal my focus, literally. <laughs> Okay, um, the raid always takes so long because uh, I can't even, like, I can't even do it from my laptop because it literally just can't even handle it. Okay, wait, I just, the raid should have gone through, right? Oh god. Now I have to try and check out their stream on my, from my phone. Wait, are they even, oh yeah, here we go. Okay, the raid went through. I'm gonna stop streaming. Someone took a pop shot at me? Yeah, it's from the hillside. Bye!